Okay, so 2026 and what it will bring for PHP. The first on this list is PHP 8.5. It got released at the end of November last year, but in practice, most people only start using it uh, this year. PHP 8.5 is, I would say, an average release. It has the pipe operator, which is nice in theory, but there are some drawbacks with it. But I'll actually talk about that in, in a second. Hang on. There's clone width, which is also a nice feature. I wish it was implemented a little differently, but there's a void cast, no discard. There are some closure improvements, backtraces for fatal errors, which is a small thing, but it's actually really useful. There's a new API for URI parsing and a bunch of other small things. Now about that pipe operator, somewhere in between the release of PHP 8.5 and Christmas, start of December, uh, we got a new RFC accepted and that's partial function application. And partial function application is actually a game changer for the pipe operator. To be honest, I think it should have been part of the pipe operator to begin with, but because it's such a big feature on its own, we will have to wait until PHP 8.6 for partial function application to arrive. But partial function application essentially allows you to create a reference to a function where some of its parameters are already filled in. And that's especially useful combined with a pipe operator because the pipe operator requires a closure with exactly one parameter. And so when you combine the two, it becomes a really powerful tool. Now we'll have to wait a while because PHP 8.6 is not coming for, well, the majority of 2026, to be honest. The release date is now set on November 19, but from experience that date usually gets postponed a week or two, maybe three. So end of 2026 before we'll be able to use it. But it's something to definitely look forward to. There's another RFC targeted for 8.6, which it's still in discussion. It is possible that it won't get accepted, but it's another RFC by Larry and Ilya. So, you know, you can be sure it's very thorough and it's the pattern matching RFC. This one will allow you to use a new is keyword, which will return true or false depending on whether a variable or value matches a given pattern. I don't want to go into too much detail right now because, as I said, the RFC is still under discussion. Things will probably still change. It might not get accepted, but I hope it will. So it's something to keep your eye on during 2026. Then there's FrankenPHP. This is nothing new. Uh, it's been here for a couple of years, but last year FrankenPHP and the foundation started to work together. And I think there is a lot of potential here for FrankenPHP. I'm just going to go ahead and say it for it to become the default runtime for PHP. It's written in Go. It has worker mode built in so that you can have long running PHP processes. But even without worker mode, just Using Franken PHP instead of PHP FPM, uh, you'll see a performance increase on almost all applications, which is really cool. And I hope that, yeah, that it will become uh, the default runtime for PHP someday. Maybe not in 2026 yet, but it's definitely something uh, that has a lot of potential and is already gaining a lot of traction. Something that's younger than PHP, but with a lot of potential as well, is a tool called Mago, which is a tool chain for PHP. It does code formatting, static analysis, linting, and whatnot. It's written in Rust, so it's super fast. It's a combination of many several tools that were previously written in PHP. Just a couple of weeks ago, the first stable version was released. I've been using it myself for months, actually. It's a really great tool. It's super fast, super reliant. The author is very actively working on it. It had support for all PHP 8.5 features right from the release day, so that's really nice. And just like with Franken PHP, it has nothing to do with PHP code itself. It's no new syntax or whatever, but these tools written in other languages, focusing on performance that support PHP, they really have the potential to elevate the ecosystem to the next level. So Mago, yeah, it's definitely on my list. Another thing that has the potential to be truly game-changing for PHP is the work that Admint has been doing on the async stuff. So Admint is looking into adding multi-threading functionality in PHP. Personally, I'm mostly looking forward to async IO because I think uh, most of performance bottlenecks in PHP come from IO and not necessarily CPU bound tasks. But still, Admint is doing a lot of interesting work in this area. And we'll see where it ends up. He's currently on the seventh iteration of the RFC. Internals is getting more and more involved, so I, I hope something good will come out of here, but it's, it's a pretty big problem space and making PHP truly async, because that's what this is about. It's, um, 
it's a very complicated topic to tackle. So we'll see what 2026 brings for the True Async RFC. I have two more things on my list, but there is so much more to talk about when it comes to PHP in 2026. So if you want to pitch in, leave a comment down below and, and let me and others know what you're most excited about. Okay, my second to last one is PHP First. That's the online conference we did last year and so many people turned up. We had over 5,000 people watching live and then thousands and thousands more watching afterwards. I'm so proud of what we were able to achieve last year and I want this year to be even bigger and better. So I'll keep you posted about the details on this channel as well if you want to hear more about it. Make sure to subscribe. And the last thing is, well, it's something personal. It's Tempest, the thing we've been working on for two years on this channel as well. It continues to grow, it continues to be awesome. And I am so excited to continue to work on it together with so many talented people in the open source community. So that's my list of things I'm excited about for PHP in 2026. And like I said before, leave your thoughts in the comments as well. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.